if you go uh, culture and pretty much everything that you see here from arts to uh, the games and uh, uh, livelihood pretty much revolve around uh, the cultivation of rice and it's not just uh, any ordinary rice we call it heirloom rice now um, indigenously we call it tinawon and each cycle in the cultivation of the tinawon has its own distinct uh, practice rites uh, significant events in connection with the cycle uh, are born uh, the uh, artifacts um, which start, uh, started as uh, very uh, utilitarian. I mean, these were used uh, as utensils or uh, in connection with uh, what they needed uh, to perform the rites uh, and in their daily living. There is no plate before, so they have to put the rice here. Then the family members gather around then with their spoon from the hookup or this basket they eat. But this kind of basket also is used during rituals. Yeah. Before the performance of a ritual, this has to be placed at the middle wherein the items needed are placed here. Like for example, we have the rice, a piece of meat, and then on top here, we put the, the clothing of the, the dead uh, members of the family. Then money, if there are, because the money before were coins. San in ma? Yeah, coins. Then betel nut for them to come and share. And then the piece of meat where and there are other attached uh, parts of the chicken yeah, on top here before they would perform the ritual. Then another function of this, engagement. Yeah, the engagement. Uh, uh, ceremony, uh, ceremony, if we say it, yeah, there is the hookup that they would bring to the house of the woman, the girl, from the man. I this uh, square basket is Ifuga winnower, this one. Now it is used to clean the pounded the rice. Now this, that is the basic use. Now the other one is to let cool the glutinous rice after it's cooked, cool it there before you try to put the yeast or binokbok and then put it here for fermentation. But we have here the leaves of the bananas before you put the glutinous cooled rice. Now this is for catching fish in the rice pan. Uh, yeah, it, there are fish sometimes in the rice pan? Yeah, the first uh, fish that we had in Ifugao is the mud fish or the dolog. Now these are fish traps. Fish trap for the yuyu. The basic use of this is fish trap for the yuyu. Now this is the alawin or the, the shell basket. So uh, when you go to the rice field, you clean. There are some shells that you could ah, like gather. Like, uh, what kind of Originally, shell? we don't have kuhul. We have the batikul, a very delicious indigenous, one. Uh, indigenous uh, shell. shell. Yes, ma'am. What's the shell? Like the kuhul, but uh, different. different in uh, So the women hung this one. So as they try to clean, in the rice pan they and they it. yeah if they get put it there and included also during harvest when there are eggs of the the birds that 
hide among the rice and the rice stalks you put it there so all things that you gather which are edible you put it there are these all the same yes all the same and this one is for the fish in the river or in the stream there is a kind of fish the short ones that is found in the river so we use this kind of fish trap ah there's another basket ma'am Oh, yes, the I have this one, okay. the spoon basket. We hung it there at the side of the native house where after eating in that rice basket, with they wipe the spoon and then put it here. That is uh, originally what had been do, done. Uh, there were no patteries in, uh, in the place. But uh, instead of clay, they used wood as medium for uh, vessels. So you have wooden plates, wooden uh, ladles, and uh, uh, that sort. Yes, these are the indigenous spoons. These spoons are made from the coconut shell. Uh, they try to shape it like a spoon and use it. Now we call this kinatagang. Kinatagang. Now this is the wooden spoon. Now before it was just pole like this. But later because of art they try to put some images or like that. They try to make it artistic like this one. Now these are the different uh, bowls, wooden bowls, wherein, uh, of course, uh, the shape, we have the scallop shape, then we have the plain ring, different shapes. Now, now we have only this one, we have our native uh, term for this, batang ni. Uh, it is a twin plate, they say it in what I have read. <laughs> twin plate, but we call it in Ifugao, Batangne. We're in twin. Twin. Yeah, this is, is for, for sauce. sauce, yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, these are the ritual materials. Yeah. When you say ritual materials, I mean, is that... Uh, for ashes, like this. Wow. When they try to perform rituals, there are rituals that needed this one. Like, uh, for example, harvest. They needed this one. Including the bulul. Yeah, including the bulul. So, they would put there many things. Many. That's why sometimes it, the, others, uh, the other things are black. Because previous, uh, previous yes, they put there the tail of the butchered uh, pig or the, the rono that they used to kill the pig, they put it there. But this one, it is a ritual box for a murdered person. A murdered person? Yeah, when they try to perform ritual when there is a murdered man or person they try to use that there are many things that are put placed there very sec that sacred that is owned, owned by the person uh, the owned by the member of the, fam oh. the family the person belong Pungangan. this is the pun pamahan. pamaahan where you pour the rice wine oh. so everybody could just get from there and drink same the same with there. Now this one, ma'am, is the Pungoltan. Yeah, this, uh, ah, this, one. this uh, okay. oblong ball. Okay. When they try to butcher the chicken, the blood is... Uh, yeah, the it would uh, flow there. And from there, they would try to read the bubbles of the blood. The, the, the blood. Oh. Yeah. If, uh, if, uh, if it's good, uh, if good or there is something wrong, <laughs> yes, ma'am. 
and uh, also they have carved uh, uh, images of uh, their gods like the Bulu which is pretty much the uh, most significant uh, god uh, replicated in uh, wood statues uh, called the Bulu and uh, uh, this is supposed to uh, this god is supposed to protect the uh, the rice and the and the and the rice field. Sa bulol na sinasabi namin, it may be very ugly, but uh, yung mga forefathers na ano don, very valuable ang mga yun. Kasi uh, they strongly believe that this uh, bulol na sinasabi namin, yung maliit lang na tao na kaupok, can help them, lalong lalo na sa ano yung sa mga harvest. Mm, um, yung pagkaalam nila malaki ang naitutulong ng bulol na ito sa mga harvest nila at sa kayong success ng buhay nila. Ng bulol pa di andi first nga pa tinotanda ng bulol. Ngayon medyo bumaybayag mo, mamalibais mo nang mapautan, medyo pumpumintas mo nang maala na mo ng forman di tago. Hindi ni Ani, Ani mapulma ni Andy Tago ang medyo ka sila abstract. O medyo nambulo handi ya. Siyempre, nambaba ng handi po ang alam takong kakadang. Dati yan na usaron na na eda bumayahan. Nang urum ya, nang abstract may alam ang urum ang bukong bulo ya. Iigat tang na may alam po ang kasala ay ayam di Tago. So this is the bulul, ma'am. But then uh, we were not able to get or to have with us the bulul where it is really by pair. Hey, what it. about this one? What is this? Ay, oh, oh. Why? Parang ano, no? Parang, Parang oh, double oh, lang oh, ano niya. Oh, oh, Parang woman and man. And man, yes. Because But it I has... I news. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, very strange, huh? Yes, oh, oh. <laughs> But what I know of the bulul is It is made by pair. Oh, okay. Is it um, there is man or woman? There or is the man men? and there is one pair, man and a woman. Oh, yeah. okay. The bulul is part and partial of the Ifugao life, especially during the production of the rice and the harvest of the rice. Now, before the harvest of the rice, the rituals has to be performed by the Tumonak or the rich identified uh, uh, holder of the rice culture within the community. So, the bulul, which had been there in their granary, has to be brought out and a whole night affair has to be performed before the start of the harvest by the wealthy family. Then succeeding uh, families could already follow the harvesting the rice. Now, actually the story of the production of the bull was that it caused sickness. Because the family did not give, uh, give uh, or did not perform the usual ceremony before the start of the production of the rice. So when it caused sickness, now they have to really come up with uh, the bulur according to The myth, it is a mythical story that they said uh, you have to perform the ritual of the production of the bulul before the sickness will be uh, cured. So that is how they were able to start the production of the bulul. And fr from that on, The bulul has to be used during the harvest period.
Uh, this is the, a stool, dalapong. Ah, uh, dalapong. This yes. is dalapong? Stool. Yeah, you need to Is that it. an old form ever since? I think so, like because... Uh, uh, for maybe... No, no, no. no it's uh, sitting. Oh, for sitting? Yeah, and stool. Door, stool. But uh, do they do something uh, when they sit on the stool or no? You can just sit. You, you know. sit down. Is Especially that put inside the house? Inside the, the house. The house. Okay. house. Because they have no chairs before. Mm -hmm. So that is yeah. for children or for a pregnant woman. Because he could not, she could not sit like that, squatting. Yeah. So he has, she has to Correct. sit on top of that stool. Mom, this one... Uh, Just I, an I art. <laughs> some, some pigs in uh, like that one. The design is yeah, I for, I, I, for, I, for, for, I, for, I forgot to include in the hagabi. That is the sample of the hagabi. That is the hagabi. That is the rich man bench. And that is also acquired. When the rich man has to perform the imbaya. That is the prestigious occasion of the rich man, rich family. Now, it is not, uh, it's not uh, the same throughout the different ethnic group in Ikugao. Yes. Yes, ma'am, because in other ethnic groups in Ifugao, for example, the Tuwali, they perform this prestigious occasion called the Imbaya three times and they could come up to Oa to come up with that Hagabi. But others has to perform the Imbaya 11 times before they could acquire the Hagabi. The Imbaya is performed by the wealthy family were in uh, in some because there are two types of this we have that nine days uh, occasion but the uh, there is uh, the term is different but it, it the process is the same and the imbaya actually is 30 days so the uh, normal imbaya that is intentional because they are wealthy. They have to perform 30 days, 30 nights, um, uh, performing dancing in their house. Yes, they would be having this naba or dancing every night in their house. And at the end, there is the culminating activity wherein they would give uh, the feast, wherein there is butchering, drinking, dancing, and eating. People are gathered already during the end of the Imbaya. Agabi is supposed to be for the rich uh, folks, no? Yes, of course, because uh, you cannot own a Agabi without undergoing all the uh, preliminary rituals, uh, especially the is Imbaya, the Baya. Oh, you have to Bumaya. Bumaya is the drinking the festival. Yeah, that's the festival that we use when we Ibaya, call it. Yeah. Uh, a, a couple should uh, do the ritual maybe once, two times, three times. But before the Baya, they also have to do more rituals before that. And then once they are Pimbaya, then they have another ritual, then they can own something like this. So it's really very expensive to do. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, like for example, nowadays, uh, to make just one ritual using six sticks and caramels in hell, a lot of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you're supposed to repeat. Yeah, uh, the rituals. Rituals. Mm -hmm. And to have this one, you have to also spend because you have to look for somebody who knows how to make this. You 
pay him. You have to send him to the forest to look for a food because you cannot make it from him. This is one piece. piece. It should be one piece. And there are also this ones being done in the forest. Mm -hmm. If the pile is not good, you have to look for another tree. Mm -hmm. If the pile is good, then you start making one. Then you have to feed the person and the company mm -hmm. will carve this in the forest. Then after the, when it is done, then you have to get many people to pick it up. Then you have again to work on the ritual. And when this uh, dance come home, you have to let it sleep on uh, spread rice. Then you have to butcher several animals again. Yes, and these ma. are very precious. Backpacks. Yes. Yeah. Backpacks, yes. And shoulder bag. Oh, so women would have this on their back. I know this one is for men. Ah, that's for men. Yeah. Okay. The women can have this one shoulder band. Mm. And this kind of uh, baskets is for for parang lunch box. Mm. Lunch yes. Box. But this is for betel nut again. Yeah, okay. This one, including that that one there now. In terms of uh, habitat. In terms of where Ifugaos live, um, each tribe uh, has evolved its own architecture. Um, let me talk about the Tuali, uh, one of the major tribes uh, in Ifugao. The architecture is actually um, amazing. There are four posts, um, normally uh, it's a small building. It's uh, 5 by 8 or 5 by 10 feet, enough to contain uh, a family of five, all living in one room of air, where you have the kitchen, the bedroom, everything in there. But the design of the native house, it is rat proof because the posts have rings to it. So the, the uh, rats couldn't climb up. And the houses are built away from trees. So the rats won't jump from trees into the houses. The four-posted house, not one of the posts is actually um, dug into the ground. It just sits on the ground because it's made of like a trunk with still the root but uh, you know um, uh, prepared in such a way that it can sit on the ground but we've never ever had any native house blown away by the wind in spite of the fact that it's just sitting on the ground it's not um, uh, dug into the ground and the reason for this is the aerodynamic design of the roof. It is like a pyramid, it's four sides. And the effect is for the wind to um, bear down on the structure instead of lifting it up. It's, it's aerodynamic design. But the Ifugao house, uh, since it's all, uh, everything in, in, uh, in one room, uh, the kitchen, uh, so therefore, you can imagine uh, it's soup then. There's soup inside the, inside the house. But uh, one thing about uh, our uh, native houses, we don't, we don't have luck. In the olden times, if one has to leave his house, he will just remove the ladder and put it and hang it on the beam. And that's a signal already to passersby 
that nobody's in there and you're not welcome to climb up the house. Yeah, the Ifugao native house has no nails. It's all really carved. Uh, yes, it is made without nails. And the making of the house has to be followed by abstinence, especially those who are going to be uh, to to build the house, and it is from selected wood. That's why there are native houses where in even three generations, four generations could uh, really be using. So there are rituals performed in the procurement and the building of the Ifugao native house. You have to do some rituals, like for example, yung old age na, no? yung parang, it could be parang yung, yung blessing to all, mga kam up to your, ano, to all teens. No? So that's one. Or also when you are yung sickly, yung sickly din yung isa, for example, parent or something. So uh, what you do also is after the offerings kasi, then there's also another ritual where you, the washing of the bones, para pwede ng ganito yung iwan mo. So, in fact, when there are offerings, like, uh, well, para to post, say, we have to share with my sister yeah, one yeah. thing. Uh, but then when it was open up, it was not good. Kumbaga yung bal. So, and we uh, had to get uh, because another. Because somebody will declare another. whether yes, it's good yes, or open yes. or not. Oh, so, we had to get yeah. another. Oh, oh. And then it's not just a kind of pig, usually it's the native pig. It's the native pig, you don't native, just get the, the white one, no. It must be the black the native black pig. pig. And sometimes, like my mother would say, how do you call your mother's name so? Yes, yeah. Oh my God, she demanded from my sister, so that to be from the top With regards to wood carvings, to basketry, to uh, loom weaving, of course, it has been commercialized already. And the art forms that went into it were based on, or the products that we are seeing now, are somehow also based on the ethnic, uh, uh, ethnic designs, ethnic forms of all of those, uh, what we call handicraft products today. Uh, in general, when we talk of uh, all of those loom weaving, of basketry, of wood carvings, we simply just call it, uh, in a common term, just handicrafts. But of course, it being a commercial product, now you cannot help it, but buyers and the market's preference would somehow influence also how designs will go. So that as of today, uh, while we still see traces, or it still is, uh, ethnically inspired, shall we say, uh, uh, the designs of all of those products. But there are also, of course, already certain changes just to suit the market and to suit uh, designs as sometimes uh, requested or as sometimes uh, asked for by the market itself. Majority of most of the products that you're already making are market dictated, the designs are market dictated already. When I'm 15 years old, nagsimula po ako na mag-ukit na tinuturuan po, po ako ng aking tatay. Kaya doon po ako natuto na magsisimula na i-improve po yung mga kinagawa ko tulad po ng mga small items na Pinagsimulan ko tulad ng mga teltel, mga hayop na mga malilit kong items, saka yung mga uh, tulad ng kamay, kamay, mga paa na cellphone holder, candle holder, mga ganun po. Saka mga upuan na mga kutsara, mga utensils po. Tumat handi na pimiksa handi Indian. Mm -hmm. Na pimiksa Indian ya within one week on what I depend na bayar. 
ade adi hal amin demi tu ada nam sela yang bot mat nen dana not na hen na wo ngane pon won dana na konten ya heda mabel ngane what they order that for it oh mulio man mai di pun melang ta asra e pun e umangatan teun mandita kumpul na reborta mita ustuhi pohon personal nang kayu on on dakali boron on nang lebo murang indak daun on ya muna di on simple lumbi biaga depende alam spare gan wade extra na time on rena bahu mam musli gan min wade order ya hindi pang concentrate tak nang order mam no bidah order ni mga bakpiak nang kumpul na din design tehdi no nan iya mamin ka e nan mapatan pesuan mi masala hidi bagi mi te masala ga min dida idat danan item nga iya ma nagsimula ko sa maliliit napapansin ko naman na at least yung isip ko na yung creativity of my mind at sa mga nakikita ko sa mga magagaling na carvers at doon nakikreate at nakakaroon ng lakas ng loob yung sarili ko na kaya kong gawin yun. At saka nakikita ng ibang mga uh, boss na kaya ko kaya tina tinatawag nila ako na sumama na gagawa sa kanilang orders. So doon ako natuto na gumawa ng malalaking tao kaya lang sa 6 feet po hanggang pababa. Uh, Maliliit na tao. Mabalik po ang kananya. Mabalik ang kaya kaya. Wada nan adya kaya. Adya namin di matrabaho on kaya. Ang naigligat at wanit eh. No, may di permit mo nga umalak tayo. May adya sa makanguno. Masigpitan namin. Oo. Di masapo ang mga... Permita mi nang kayo, gatang mi, permita mi, saan to, hemi, hemi pautan. Tapos na i-deliver pa yung permit. O, i-deliver mo, what I transport to, ay, permit to transport. At saka yung madalas kong ginagamit yung at least na special wood. Kasi parang maprotektan, maprotektahan naman yung parang kagandahan po ng item. Para hindi po nakakasira sa mga customer at buyer po natin. Simple we o hapon dito ko met po to ni po ko kasi ni we o hamet on we po. Bayang uno na. Simple dito mo ya dito mo ko mapa no ayan nakaada kaya gya kaya simple adiak mo mapa tin agiak mo po agiak mo po inabot nan inabot mo. Okay. So o simple wala ka nan day. Hindi lang ano ang tago, yan medyo nalaalay ang amung paot. Kaya wala nang tago po ang kalenda. Nakapsukti din sa bali po po manang nga adi na nga maalang gusto. O simple, at hindi po kalenda. May tindi pang update eh. There are certain challenges that pose threat to certain parts of our culture, right? the um, handicraft, the, the uh, wood carving art. National laws like uh, PD 705 and recently uh, uh, EO 23, which mandates a total lagban, of course, marginalizes our people because our carvers, the material is wood. And uh, for the national government to impose a total landman is practically writing a death certificate to that part of our culture.